the PYFL presents All-Star Youth Football at its finest. They're some of the most talented players in Southern California, if not the nation. And on this day, they meet on the gridiron in the high desert, Palmdale High School to be exact, in an East versus West format. In this contest, it's the best 13 and 14 year olds in the region in their last game before they head off to high school. Let's meet the senior all-stars. My name is Nicholas Wyatt. My position is quarterback, running back, and DB, and I play for the Lancaster Eagles, and my favorite uh, athlete is Cam Newton. Hi, my name is Tyler Walker. I play for the Lancaster Eagles. I play running back and corner. My favorite, my favorite athlete is T.Y. Hilton. My name is Cameron Stein. Uh, I play for the Redskins. I'm a kicker. My favorite athlete is Russell Wilson. Hi, my name is Zach Johnson. Um, I play quarterback for the Santa Cruz Redskins, and my favorite athlete is Tim Tebow. My name is Isaiah Creech. Um, I play for Highland Bulldogs. My position is fullback and running back, and my favorite um, athlete is Marshawn Lynch. Hi, I'm Nathan Dodds. I'm from the Santa Clarita Redskins, and I play outside linebacker. My favorite athlete is Ray Lewis. I'm Drew Munoz, the sa free safety wide receiver for the Santa Clarita Warriors. My favorite player is uh, Sean Taylor. My name is Aiden Baptiste. I play running back for the Canyon Outlaws, and my favorite um, football player or athlete is Marshawn Lynch. My name is Bryce Mack, and I play corner for the Palmdale Falcons, and my favorite athlete is Deion Sanders. Hi, I'm J.D. Hernandez. Uh, I play running back and linebacker for the Santa Clarita Redskins, and my favorite athlete is Le'Veon Bell. Hi, I'm Dylan Clark. I'm a center for the Santa Clarita Redskins. My favorite player is Dalvin Cook. Hi, my name is Rock Les. I am a tight end and wide receiver for the Santa Clarita Seminoles, and my favorite player is Jack Tatum. Hi, my name is Owen Hand. I'm a running back for the Santa Clarita Warriors, and my favorite athlete is o Eli Manning. Forrest Nowicki, I play for the, uh, I, my, my position is fullback. I play for the Highland Bulldogs. Um, my favorite player is Cam Newton. Hi, my name is Marcus Marchand. I play for the Highland Bulldogs. I play center and nose guard, and my favorite player is Demarcus Ware. My name is Leighton McCarthy. I'm a middle linebacker for the Santa Clarita Warriors. My favorite player is Ray Lewis. Hi, my name is Shaw Adams. I play center, fullback. My, I play for the Canyon Outlaws. And my favorite player is Jonathan Quick. My name is Craig Rustin. I play defensive tackle and defensive end and offensive tackle for the Valley 49ers. I'm John Collier. I play for the Santa Clarita Redskins. I'm a defensive tackle. My favorite player is Von Miller. I'm Tane Littleford. I play for the Santa Clarita Redskins. I am D-End, and I like J.J. Watt. I'm Enrique Polanco, and I play for the Santa Clarita Redskins. I play offensive guard, and my favorite athlete is Victor Cruz. Hi, my name is Daniel Fanaya. I play for the Canyon Outlaws. I play right guard, and my favorite athlete is Mike Tyson. My name is Azariah Bogard. I play for the Canyon Outlaws. My positions are wide receiver and linebacker. My favorite player is Randy Moss. My name is Jay Ward. I play cornerback and wide receiver for the Redskins, and my favorite player is Des Bryant. Hi, my name is Ty Shamlin. I play quarterback. Uh, I play for the North Oxnard Warriors, and my favorite player is Tom Brady. <laughs> Hi, my name is Keo Cafaro. Uh, I play wide receiver for the Camarillo Roadrunners, and my favorite uh, player is Tom Brady. Hi, my name is Ben Goldbranson. I play quarterback for the Newberry Park Steelers. And my favorite player is Tom Brady. My name is Brandon Trotter. I play for Camry Rodeners Black, and my favorite player is uh, Des Bryant. Hi, my name is Ryan Morales. I play running back for the Camry Roadrunners, and my favorite athlete is LaDainian Thompson. Hi, my name is Hunter Williams, and I play wide receiver and linebacker for Agora Chargers, and my favorite player is Clay Matthews. Hi, my name is Hugo Verto. I play for the Fillmore Bears. I play running back, and my favorite player is Bo Jackson. Hi, my name is David Duncan. I play linebacker and running back for the Camerooners, and my favorite player is Michael Kendricks. Hi, my name is Garibald Colon. I play right tackle and defensive end for Camero Roadrunners, and my favorite player is J.J. Watt. Hi, my name is Keith Prez, and I play linebacker and right tackle for the Simi Valley Vikings, and I, my favorite player is Antonio Brown. All right. Hi, I'm Griffin Borov, and I play for Thousand, Thousand Oaks Titans for offense and tackle, and then Michael Orr. 
Hi, my name is Justin and I play right tackle or left tackle and linebacker and I play for Steam Valley Vikings. So my favorite player is Ray Lewis. Hi, my name is Jacob Murillo and I'm a start and I'm a defensive tackle for the North Oxnard Warriors and my favorite player is Luke Keatley. I'm Duran Perez and I'm a offensive guard for the North Oxnard Warriors and my favorite player is Antonio Brown. I'm calling you back league and I'm a D tackle for the North Oxnard Warriors and my favorite player is Des Bryant. Uh, I'm Jack Ambrosio, and I'm center for the Agora Chargers. My favorite athlete is Lawrence Taylor. I'm Titus Ludi. I am left, tack uh, left, left tackle for the North Oxnard Warriors. My favorite athlete is Tony Romo. My name is Zach Rodriguez. I play safety, kicker, and wide receiver. My favorite football player is Zach Miller. Hi, my name is DJ Diaz. I play for the Cameron Roadrunners, and I play D-line and O-line, and my favorite player is Warren Sapp. I'm Kareem Jamal Adin. I play for the Newbury Park Steelers. I play right guard and defensive tackle. My favorite player is Vaughn Miller. My name is Harrison Crowley. I play halfback and middle linebacker for the Santa Barbara Sharks. And my favorite player is Troy Palomalu. And now to our announcers. Are you ready for some big boy football? We go into the senior division of the PYFL. 14 year olds, and this will be like watching quality high school football. These are the all stars in the Pacific Youth. Conference. They are the best of the best. Randy Rosenblum with Ralph Brown. Balls on the tee. The West will be kicking to the East. The West in blue. East in red. Toe hits leather as Zach Rodriguez kicks off, and this football game is underway. And what a return to start the game! A touchdown for the East. What a start for the Eastern Stars. I mean, talk about a start for the Eastern All-Stars. This was just a squib kick down the middle. And what a return for the Eastern All-Stars. It looked like a scrum and breaks tackles, gets into the open field and high steps, gets into the end zone quickly to galvanize the East All-Stars. What a job by number 10. So it's six to nothing and Zach Johnson, the outstanding quarterback, hasn't been on the football field yet. He's coming out there right now. We've seen Zach come up through the different divisions. Great communication skills as a QB. It took the East 14 seconds to score. And they're on the board quickly on the kick return for a touchdown. And they'll run it for two. And they're going to score two more. What a beginning for the Eastern Stars. Two-point conversion is good. It's up to 8 nothing, And they're rolling on the Eastern sideline early on. Well, you don't start much better than that. J.D. Hernandez able to run it in for the two points. You talk about a good job and quick strike. You don't even need your offense to get out on the football field when you have players on the Red All-Stars that can return and take a kickoff back to the house and then get that two-point conversion in very quickly, Randy. This is a, a great All-Star team. We spoke about them earlier, about how much talent is on this All-Star team on the East, and they showed it on the opening kickoff. Well, J.D. Hernandez, we know he's a talented running back. He just took it in for the two-point conversion. And once he got to the outside, he was not going to be denied. Oh, he has that good lateral speed, and he's been doing that this entire season. You put the ball in his hands, he's a threat. And it's hard for defenders to bring him down. If you're not fast, it's going to be tough to take that angle away and make that tackle. I'll we'll see if the West, the Blue Stars, could respond. But what a beginning for the East, and the East has lost all three earlier division games today. No one's going to kick down the sideline and roll out of bounds. So we'll get to see this outstanding West offense. We've heard so much about Ben Gulbranson, the quarterback from Newberry Park from the Steelers. Isaiah Creech 
with that magnificent touchdown return to begin the game. Creech with the breakaway speed. Once he broke through containment on that kickoff, took it the distance. Then we had the conversion by Hernandez, and it's 8 nothing. See what Gil Branson can do. We've heard so much about this quarterback. Flag is down. I know you played against Ben Roethlisberger, Ralph, and you played against him in the National Football League. In fact, you played against him in the Super Bowl. But they compare Gil Branson to his style. He's big, he's physical, he's got the arm, and he can run. Oh, and there's a reason why, because he, he's – Hard to bring down, he's tall, and you just like you said, he's physical and hard to bring down, and he can throw all the, make all the throws around this field, and you'll see this displayed out there this evening. We still can't get over the beginning on that touchdown run by Isaiah Creech of the Highland Bulldogs. He took off and scampered down that sideline, and what a start for the red-clad Eastern All-Stars. We haven't played a minute here. First down and five after the foul. And Gull Branson with the late pitch. And that's read beautifully by the defenders. No chance there to turn it upfield. Brandon Trotter was hit in his tracks. And it'll be second down and five. And you always like your linebackers to be able to play the quarterback and the running back on the option. Owen Hand does a great job playing the quarterback. Once it's pitched out to the outside, number 44 does a tremendous job getting back to the running back as well, getting a TFL. Heard so much about Owen Hand and how he runs with the football, blazing speed on defense. Oh, and of course, playing at Santa Clarita this year for the Redskins. A little slow coming out of the huddle for the Western Stars. We're at the High Desert location, Palmdale High School, Palmdale, California. Senior Division football game. Goal Branson to the air. Deflected. Incomplete. That pocket didn't hold up for Gull Branson, and he had to unload in a hurry. But that defensive line, those guys got upfield and collapsed the pocket and kept it compressed and throw it to the outside. That's Owen Hand again. I almost came up with that interception, linebacker. Because sideline to sideline, you're going to see him in a lot of different variations on the field today, in the backfield and hustling. He's a hustle player and has a high motor, too. Folks, you're going to want to look at number 24 on the flanks. He's from the Agura Chargers. His name is Hunter Williams, and he really can stretch the defense. He's flanked to the near side. He's got the white helmet on from Agura. Gold Branson's looking the other way. There's that rocket arm. Can he pinpoint the football? That is a beautiful aerial taken in by Zach Rodriguez, the tight end from the Ventura Packers. And it's a first down on that throw out to the 36-yard line. When you talk about knifing it in there, Gil Branson knifed that ball in there. Tight coverage on the backside. And you look at number 81, Rodriguez comes up with a great catch. Randy Rosenblum with Ralph Brown. Of course, this is the big game of the day. The senior division fly sweep is controlled beautifully by the Eastern Stars. I'm going to bring your end around, try to get him in space. That's what they wanted to do with Brandon Trotter, but he had no run to roam. Get these linebackers. Rustin did a good job. Trotter on the outside, but these guys are flying to the football and physical. All these guys are almost in high school, and physical athletes, and it's going to show up this evening. Second down and nine after a pickup of one by Trotter. Again, a little counteraction. A lot of misdirection plays early for the West. That they've tried to do, try to baffle the defense. That time it was Kaleeb Kafaro. His dad is the offensive coordinator for the Western Stars, and Kafaro's got blazing speed. That's why they want to bring him around and try to get him some operating room. It's third down and eight. Clock showing 8.20 left of the first quarter. We're Looking at an 8-0 lead for the East on defense in red. 
a kickoff return for a touchdown by Isaiah Creech. And then Hernandez took it in for the two-point conversion. Gulbranson back to the air. He had a streaking receiver open at the 50-yard line, and it was Trotter, and he just missed him. And it's fourth down and eight. You talk about Gil Branson's release. He gets rid of the football very quickly. He just knifes that in there, and Trotter nearly comes up with it. But this offense showing you the strength of Gil Branson's arm and this motion. There's a lot of misdirection. But give credit to the Red All-Stars for playing sound defense in this first series. And they're going to get the football back with a lead. One's kicked out of bounds. No chance for a return. And the East will take over. Drew Munoz back. So desperately wanting to return it. Never really had a chance as the ball was punted a good 10 yards out of bounds. So the East takes over at the 40. That's where they'll start. And the mercurial Zach Johnson at quarterback. And he is a good one. And again, I mentioned it earlier, tremendous leadership skills for Zach Johnson. He's only 5'9", but he plays much bigger than that. Marcus Merchant at center, really quick off the ball. Good blocker from the middle position. First and 10, and this is Zach Johnson on the roll-up. And he'll take off. Gains three, and he's run out of bounds. And the one thing that we'll see out there today is Zach Johnson, his composure in the pocket, orchestrating this offense, looking downfield to his wide receivers. And he's a cool and calm customer can deliver the ball into tight windows as well. Well, I asked to feel confident he got a specialty team score from the kickoff unit when Creech returned it for the touchdown. And now Johnson with a man in motion and a flag out throwing the ball again. That one should have been caught out at the 48 yard line, but there is a marker down it. it is an incomplete aerial. Again on the move. That's what you like about Zach Johnson. He can throw on the run. You can move the pocket, and that's twice. The first one, well, he just escaped the pocket. The second one, move the pocket to the outside, knife that ball in there, and you see where he puts the ball. He puts it right on the money where you can catch it. That ball was just dropped. Zach Johnson is that quarterback that you want on your team to orchestrate your offense. Very accurate thrower is Zach Johnson. He's got his hands in his pocket. He's trying to keep warm out there. Temperatures are in the 40s here tonight in Palmdale in the high desert. Boy, the PYFL does it right. They do a tremendous job. This is the fourth All-Star game today and into the evening. They started at 10 o'clock this morning. The quick pitch near side. And this is good running room. Uh, near the 50-yard line. That's how you want to run the football. And with it was J.D. Hernandez. That's not a shock. He's the one that ran it in for the two points. He thunders downfield. I like watching Hernandez, a physical type running back. You look on that play, the defensive line, none of them had their paws on the turf. They're all standing up and just a different disguise from this defense from the Blue All-Stars. See if they go back to J.D. Hernandez, short yarded situation, and they do it. He breaks through. J.D. Hernandez bouncing outside. Hernandez tough to bring down, and he finally is brought down from behind at the 15-yard line. Zach Rodriguez was able to chase him down. There's a flag behind the play, however, back at the 45-yard line. We'll see if this one stands. It's a hold, and it's coming back. Unfortunately, that wipes out a beautiful run. Well, that play broke out clean. It was a hold, but look on the play. Number 26 broke out wide, and... He shows his speed, Hernandez, showed how fast he is, and Rodriguez as well chased him down. But there's some fast guys on this football field today, some athletes, and you've seen it from Hernandez and from Rodriguez. 
on that play running down the football field. Well, that would have been a fourth down and conversion. They would have been in the red zone, and now you're looking at fourth down and five as they replay the down. Zach back to throw, Zach Johnson. By an additional time, being chased. Look at those elusive moves for Zach Johnson. And he throws it away, and the ball's going to go over on downs. Well, terrific defensive pursuit by one of the captains, Gabe Kalan. And he was chasing Johnson and really forced his hand. Well, Kalan did a tremendous job. And if you're a secondary player, just look how long you have to cover with the elusiveness of, of Zach Johnson back there with his nice legs, footwork, buying time, and heaves his ball up. If you're a cornerback, that's going to show you how long you may have to cover on some of these plays this evening. Well, Zachary Johnson been playing football for eight years, and you saw that experience. He tries to emulate Russell Wilson, and he really did there, didn't he? All right, let's see what the Blue Stars can do, the West. They're trailing here, 8 nothing. Throw over the middle, incomplete. New quarterback in the ball game for the Western Stars. It's Ty Shamblin from the North Oxnard Warriors. As you noted, he's a southpaw. Very accurate thrower. Terrific in the pocket. He's the kind of quarterback that just feels the pressure. He knows when to get it out of there. He targeted Ryan Morales there. Second down and 10. Hugo Verto from the Fillmore Bears is flanked to the left side. Shamblin turns it upfield, runs out of bounds. You know who he reminds me of? Steve Young, an old quarterback who played at BYU, had the great career in the NFL, mostly with the 49ers. Had a Super Bowl championship ring to his side of the ledger. If you look at Shamblin, he has a lot of the same traits. Well, he's smart with the football. Steve Young was very smart with the football. He had great elusivity. And when he's running around in the backfield, he keeps his eyes down the field to find his wide receivers right there. Shamblin couldn't throw the ball down the football field. Takes what he can for the defense. Just gets out of bounds. Second down and 15. We're midway through the first quarter. We're playing 12-minute quarters in our PYFL Senior All-Star Game. Again, the PYFL running four games today here at Palmdale, and they have done a beautiful job of overseeing matters. Shamblin being pursued again. And again, there's that presence in the pocket. He throws down field. And again, he was looking for Hugo Verto and missed him. But under the gun, Shamblin's scrambling ability extended the play, and he nearly completed it. He talk about his footwork, and that's the one part of his game that you can't account for extending plays. But you look on the play, Rustin was barreling down, and he kept his eyes down the football field, staring down that barrel and tried to hit Virgo on that play. Not the biggest guy, but he has a very big heart at the quarterback position. Third down. West still needs 15 yards. Shamlin going over the middle, and it's too high. Good-looking pass for Caleb Cafaro. And it's fourth down and long. Cafaro ran a very nice pattern into traffic. Just couldn't make the grab. Excellent secondary coverage by the Eastern Stars in red, who have an 8-0 lead, 5.39 to play. Opening quarter, they're going to get the football back. Drew Munoz, so fleet of foot, standing back at the 10. You got to hold your breath every time Drew's out there, and they just won't kick it to him. Well, that's smart football, just kicking it away from Drew Munoz. You'll love it when coaches game plan for 
a high energy game breaker like Munoz. Well, you talk about Munoz and what he possesses on that punt return special teams. When he touches the ball, what he does, you cannot teach. He gets north south in a hurry. And it's fun to watch a guy like that shifty and get to the outside. When he sees daylight, he gets to it. And he's been punishing people for kicking to him this entire season. Well, the Red Stars are back out there on offense. Again, the only difference here is the kickoff return by Creech for a touchdown. As a quarterback keeper, Johnson has come out of the football game and he's been replaced by Nick Wyatt. And Wyatt turned it upfield and moves the sticks. Terrific run by Nick. Well, Nick is very shifty and you, you bring Hernandez on that jet sweep. Fake it and run right behind him. Let him be a blocker because he's a big guy. Can block for you as well. It's a nice job converting the chains with a great vision for the red team. How fortunate are you as a coaching staff when you have Zach Johnson, you bring in a Wyatt who can run it as well. And Wyatt trying to get outside, shakes one would-be tackler, and look at these moves. Not going to pick up a whole lot of yards, but Nick Wyatt displayed to everyone here at Palmdale High School why he is gifted offensively. Well, he has that fight in him, and he's done that before. Being backed up in turn of a play that looked at like it was going to be a, a, a play that you lose yardage, turning it into a positive gain. He comes off the field right now, but he made a few guys miss and turned it into some positive yards. Replaced by Zach Johnson. Again, that's quite a quarterback combination for the East. And Zach Johnson with the quarterback draw. Across the 50 to the 48-yard line. He's about three yards shy of the first down. So it'll be third down and three. Boy, he loves that quarterback draw, Zach Johnson. Now I think it's time. Maybe I don't want to play offensive coordinator here. You might think in terms of getting the football to J.D. Hernandez, that powerful running back. And they bring Hernandez around. I guess I should be the offensive coordinator. He picked up a first down. Counter play near the 35 yard line and the East is driving. Smart play, great creative play call. Keep bringing Hernandez across the formation and keep it with your quarterback Wyatt. Then on third and manageable, give it to the big guy. Great blocks out in front on the edge and he gets north south and converts the chains for the Red All-Stars. Take the end around and Johnson to the air. Another accurate throw. You give Zach time to throw, he finds Owen Hand in the flat and another positive gain and Hand in space is trouble for any defense. And it's a first down. Well, as a defensive player, when you're dealing with an offense with this much misdirection and athletes on that side of the football, it gets hard for you. Marching down the football field, you have to be disciplined and play integrity on the outside of the ball. Johnson hides it so well. That one's deflected and nearly caught by a secondary target. It's incomplete. It was nearly brought in by Isaiah Creech, who was just standing away from that pattern. The ball was deflected to Isaiah. Isaiah already the proud owner of a kickoff return for a touchdown. Owen Hand is so good on the outside. Number 44, definite threat to get the football on second down and 10. Johnson airing it out deep. Got his man. Got a touchdown. <laughs> Drew Munoz. Well, we've talked so much about Drew as a kick returner. Not shocking that you lay one out deep for him and Munoz with his blazing speed goes and gets it for the touchdown. Give credit to the pass. Johnson throws this ball on the money to Munoz. That threat and a dynamic runner puts it out there and he goes up and gets it and brings it down for the touchdown. East has opened up an early 14-0 lead as they go for two. Hernandez barreling forward and he's gonna be hit about a yard shy of the goal line so it remains 14-0. What a start with 324 left for the Eastern Stars. Well, the 
Red hasn't won all day today. They've lost all three previous All-Star games, but they've come out on fire in this last one. And the one thing about that play, Randy, was Kafaro was in good coverage. And sometimes just the person on the offensive side of the ball just makes a better play than you. And Kafaro has done a good job at the cornerback spot this entire season. And give credit to Munoz and the throw by Zach Johnson for the touchdown. Well, again, you got J.D. Hernandez. You got Aiden Baptiste, both outstanding ball carriers on that eastern side. That's their first touchdown for the offense. Specialty team unit got the TD. Cameron Stein kicking off, got a strong leg. He's only 5'9", but he's a good punter. Good placement specialist. As you get to the older divisions, you got guys who are capable of kicking it through the sticks. Cameron Stein is one of those guys. Cameron's going to advance on the football. We'll see how far he hits it here on a cold night. Return by Joseph Anaya. It's nice for one of those big fellows to get an opportunity. Anaya was licking his chops and returned it upfield to the 40-yard line. Well, the West has been stymied early here, Ralph Brown. They're going to have to get creative on the offensive side, see if they can get some gadget plays, establish that line of scrimmage, and get the push the ball down the field to their playmakers on the outside. Clock is running, or it should be running. They just started it to play. Of course, they just bought the boys an extra 10 or 15 seconds. Joel Branson back in at quarterback. Reversing his field nicely is Ryan Morales. Notice there was nothing available to his left. Went in the spin cycle, went back to the right. And he was able to reach it out back near the 39-yard line. He lost one. It'll be second down and 11. You have to be a true fan to be out in this weather. Sparse crowd on hand. Great support, though, for the boys that are out here. Got to thank their family and friends. On a cold evening, you got to think it's in the 30s now, Ralph. It's really dipped down. Don't expect that in Southern California, but we are in the high desert. Gal Branson hiding the football, but he couldn't hide from the defense. That's just great defensive work. Owen oh, a hand was in there, and he was not alone. And that's the third play. This season that Owen Hand has made an impact on. This guy is all over the football field. And when he makes a play, steps on the gas. He closes quickly, gets into the backfield to get the sack. What a job by Owen Hand. Taden Littleford was there as well, defensive end. I think he wants to be a doctor when he gets older. Well, he looked like a doctor there as he operated on defense. Third down and very long. Gold Branson with that arm strength, but this time he's picked off, and it's Hernandez coming back, and you know he knows how to run with it. J.D. Hernandez all the way. Touchdown for Hernandez. Boy, they go crazy here as J.D. Hernandez picked it off and scored. Well, he does it all. He's great on the offensive side. The ball plays linebacker, and he's a leader in the nucleus of that defense. Gil Branson throws this ball off, and Hernandez stands in the lane, grabs it, then turns on his offensive skills with the convoy, gets into the end zone, and puts the Red All-Stars up 20 in a hurry. Yeah, he had a legion of blockers in front of him as he sailed down the sideline. So 21st quarter points. For the Eastern All-Stars in red, and haven't they been dominant? As always, they're going for two points. Looking to open up a 22-0 lead. And Zach Johnson throwing to the end zone. It's deflected and intercepted. Flags are down for the time being. 
the two-point conversion fails, but let's see who the flag's on. False start on the offense is refused, so it will remain 20 nothing. So the J.D. Hernandez interception, the pick six stands. And it's the East by 20 nothing in the final minute 24 opening quarter. Well, well, well. The Eastern Stars with quite a show here in the first quarter, up 20 nothing. Ralph Bryan, you played in the National Football League for 10 years. You've been on good side of 20 nothing and bad side of 20 nothing. Let's start with the bad side. What will the team in blue, the Western Stars, need to do to get jump started here? Well, they need a big play from somebody establishing a line of scrimmage, maybe a, a nice run to break out, to move the sticks, or a splash play down the football field, push it by Gil Branson. Forget about the interception, but somebody needs to make a play to turn this around. And if you're the East, you got to feel pretty good about things, right? They're doing a great job so far. Stein kicking off again. And here's the big splash play that you were talking about. Crossed the 50-yard line and running with it was Hunter Williams, and we spoke about Hunter. Hunter is dynamic in every phase of the game. We mentioned he's a, a flanker on the, on the near side when he lines up on offense, but you saw what he can do on the specialty team. He's just so fleet of foot. Well, I like watching him at 5'6", 125. He's fun to watch and got that good straight line speed. And if you're not sound in your tackling, he's going to make you miss. And you look at that speed. When he catches the ball, when he gets north-south and steps on the gas, he goes from 0 to 60 in a hurry and almost took that one the distance. Well, he's got Ty Shamblin back out there in good field position at the 48-yard line of the east. West needs to move down the field, get back in this football game. They're down three touchdowns early. The good news is they got plenty of time to get back into it. It all started with that kickoff return for a touchdown from Isaiah Creech. Offense not in sync. Delay of game costs them five. The East has come out here and made a statement. Specialty team score, an offensive score, and a defensive score. I can't think of any other ways, Ralph. They got them in all three phases of the game. Shamlin able to pick it up after the ball hit the ground, and he's going to get drilled for a loss. Still tough to bring him down. Dylan Clark of the Redskins got in there and got to Shamblin on a play that never materialized. That is the end of the first quarter. And after one, the red team, the Eastern All-Stars, did everything well. Isaiah Creech, kickoff return for a touchdown. We had the J.D. Hernandez interception and a return for a score. And we also saw Zach Johnson go up top to throw a touchdown pass as well. A beautiful aerial to Drew Munoz. And after the first stanza, it's 20 nothing East. Getting set for the second quarter, and the West has the ball, and they're hoping to improve here. They're down 20 nothing. Second down. They have the ball at the 39. They have to go all the way to their opponent's 39. That's 22 yards needed. And Shamblin, the southpaw, rolling near side. And he runs straight out of bounds. Ty Shamblin is creative, but nobody got open. You know, he bought a lot of time there, Ralph, but uh, nobody got open down. You know, you mentioned it during the break. You don't remember ever seeing a game where I'm, we've seen three scores, offense, defense, special to team the first three scores of the game. Yeah, that's very unique, and that uh, galvanizes your team, excites the fans, and that makes your coach happy as well. Offense scores, defense scores, and special teams. That's fun. That's when you know you're playing football and you're winning and doing a good job on all phases. What we just had there, I believe, was the final play of the first quarter as they re-ran the play, and now they're going to exchange ends. So this is really the second break 
for the second quarter. That's a little interesting, but that's okay. The, the clock shows 11.51 left in the half, but they never exchange ends of the stadium. Oh, it's been a long day for the officials as well. Well, by the way, Merv Wilson is our lead official in this game, and these guys have done a terrific job all day long overseeing four PYFL football games. I love the PYFL. they got cheerleaders as well. Some of those uh, young ladies have gone home now. It's too cold. Don't blame them at all. So they put the nine seconds back on the clock. They realize now here at the press box that it was an untimed down. We'll start the second quarter anew. And let's see what the West can do. Bill Branson in at quarterback. And he hands it off. Plunging forward. Not a whole lot of running room there. It was David Duncan of the Camarito Roadrunners blue team. That was Duncan's first carry of the night. He's 5'9". He weighs 170 pounds, does David. Physical running back. He's great between the tackles. Well, he's low at 5'9", 170, like you said. And he's downhill. Plays a linebacker position as well. Gave him the ball on the outside off the edge. He loves contact. When he gets the ball in his hand, he's going to try to truck you. Not a lot of moves for that young fella. Kicking it away, and again, smartly, short kick. Doesn't go very far, but keeps it away from Drew Munoz. But it will be a short field for the Eastern All-Stars who are in complete control of this football game, up 20-0, and they're gonna start in West Territory. Can't emphasize enough, West has won the first three games. They won the Bantam game this morning in overtime 12-6. Then they played the midget game. That was a good ball game, 26-14. And then in the junior game, they dominated 32-6. But not this one. So far, it's been all east and red. And they continue to move the football with J.D. Hernandez. J.D. is just, I think stands for just darn good. Well, you're absolutely right, and he comes downhill, and he makes plays on both sides of the ball, took that interception to the house, and give him the dive on the ISO with the offensive line, he's going to make hay as well. Johnson will air it out. That one's incomplete, a well-thrown football. Forrest Nowicki had it for a moment. Nowicki gives you a big target. He made a, a nice move to get open along the near sideline, and Saw that the defense was pinching in on him, so he let the ball go. Yeah, you know, he wish he had that back. It's tough to bring down also. And it's cold out there, not as easy to handle the pigskin. Johnson airing it out. What a catch and a touchdown. Oh, what a grab. You can't do it any better than that. What a game for Isaiah Creech. I know there's a flag down, but how about that catch by Creech? Charlie Donnie may have to interview him now. He's going to be the MVP the way they, things are breaking out right now. Isaiah Creech, number 10. Now, it's going to come back, but put that one in your highlight reel. What a grab by Creech. Well, it's yeah, it's a pass interference, and you look at this ball. Johnson throwing his ball up to Creech in double coverage. Just a little shove against the DB but he catches this with one hand and comes down with it, keeps his balance, and gets into the end zone. That's an acrobatic catch, and Creech is that type of athlete, that good straight line speed, but you throw that ball up, he'll go up and get it. Has he made a couple of plays in this game or what? Isaiah Creech. Third down and mammoth proportions. They gotta go all the way down to the opponent's 35 yard line. Better than 20 for Johnson who's under duress, and he's got his man. It's J.D. Hernandez who came back to help his quarterback, and J.D. Hernandez has got a first down and is still going all the way to the 23-yard line. Then the ball came out, and it's picked up by Creech, and Creech takes it down to the 12. That's the greatest play I've ever seen. 
What an amazing sequence of plays, but give credit first of all to Johnson at the quarterback position, escaping the pocket, keeping his eyes down the football field, and he just giving your big running back, J.D. Hernandez, an opportunity. Throw this up, he comes down with it, gets the ball stripped from him, and Creech picks it up and does the rest, fights to try to get into the end zone. This red team, they have athletes, and these guys are hungry on this football field tonight. Baptiste has come in, number 24 in red. That might have been the greatest play ever. Forget what I've seen. That play was incredible. Hernandez first with a magnificent catch, overcomes the down and distance. He needed 23 yards for the first team. First down, got more than that, coughed it up, and then Creech got it. He got him an additional 10 yards. Now they're going to back him up to the 20. Can't advance the fumble. That's why they brought it back. So it's first down at the 20-yard line. Just red team in the red zone. And Baptiste, and Baptiste hits it hard downfield. Another big back. Off of what we've seen, this red all-star team from the east has got stars across the board. Yeah, and they're just flexing their muscle right now, controlling that line of scrimmage, dictating terms, and give it to Baptiste. He's downhill as well. These guys are hungry, showcasing their talents this evening, and it's been fun to watch. These guys making plays. Daniel Panaya, the offensive guard. One block after another of substance. Zach Johnson communicating to Baptiste. One would think that he wants him to block. That's a dangerous throw. And how good was that red defensively? That's about as good as you can play on the defensive side of the football. That was nearly a pick six for the Western Stars. Yeah, and that was Bruce Math Mathis Powell coming out from the DB position. One of the quicker guys on the blue all-star team. He sees the, the shoulders of Johnson turn to the flats. He steps on the, the gas and nearly picked this off. Made a great play getting into the backfield to break the ball up. Third down for Zach Johnson. Crossing padding. There's that man again, Bruce Mathis Powell, with the stop. Bring up a fourth down. He was able to tackle Brock Klesch. On fourth down, here comes J.D. Hernandez. I said that Isaiah Creech might be the MVP. How about J.D. Hernandez as a candidate? He's done everything offensively and defensively. Well, he's in the backfield, Hernandez, with 8.20 to play in the half. It's fourth down and a couple. Here's a pass near side, and Klesch runs to the pylon. He's across the goal line for a touchdown. Brock Klesch. What a creative offense this red all-star team has. So many players that are athletic and can make you miss and get into the end zone. And Kles right there, Johnson with that quick release, gets him to the outside. And J.D. Hernandez, nice block off the edge, being selfless to spring Kles for the touchdown. And it's 26 nothing the East. And they've come out here, and they want to play the Patriots, I think. And I'm not talking about a youth football team. I'm talking New England, maybe bring on Carolina, the Panthers. This team looks ready to go. Zach Johnson. Baptiste trying to run outside, and he's hit, and the ball came loose, and they're denied. Right now, this East All-Star football team is loaded for bear. They are very impressive. So a 26-0 lead for the Eastern Stars. Four first half touchdowns for the East and there's still eight minutes to play. Well, this has been some display of youth football. Now if you're the West, Ralph, you gotta keep your head up 
I know it's an individual game. It's an all-star game. You want to showcase your skills, but you, know, you can get a little down here watching uh, your team slip this far behind. Yeah, and one, because there's so much talent on both sides of the ball. You haven't been able to muster up anything on offense, and you have to just try to not go on, not wanting to use a cliche, but take it one play at a time and see if you can muster up something to try to get into the end zone because this red team, they're stacked. I like the way Cameron Stein strikes the football. He's a good kicker. And Bruce Mathis bringing it back. That's Bruce Mathis Powell. He's tough to bring down. I can't say enough about these football players. I mean, they've been going at it all season long. They've gone through the rigors of a, an entire season, and they're out there, and they're giving them, you know, themselves up. I mean, they're playing hard, good, hard-nosed, clean football in the high desert. Thanksgiving weekend, and these guys are feasting on football. Well, Shamlin's the key. This blue all-star team, the West, if he can get orchestrating this offense, get some balls down the football field, and get this run game going, I think they'll be in business. See what Shamlin can muster up. He's going to call his own number. And doesn't he look like Steve Young, the way he runs the football? He's got that low number, left-hander. Shamlin's a, a good-looking football player. Unfortunately for him, running up against an Eastern All-Star team that is gifted. Yeah, these guys are loaded, and it, it's, it's hard to establish anything against this front line, that defensive line, the linebackers. Rustin and J.D. Hernandez, Merchant. These guys fly around. These are some of the top athletes coming from the East, and they're making it tough for the All-Stars today. Second down and two and a half. Shamblin again. This time he's going to have difficulty to get to the outside and can't. There's that East defense holding its ground. Can't do it much better than that. Tayden Littleford again. We talked about him earlier. Littleford, so good. Defensive end in his sixth year. West Ranch High School is where he's going to attend. Again, his favorite player is J.J. Watt, and he does want to be a doctor. I think I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, Little, he's fun to watch. Yeah, Littleford's a, good. I mean, you just can't keep him out of there. It's, it's his quickness and his ability to get off the ball. Third down and still about two yards. We'll try the left side. And again, that defense, very stout. Is David Duncan trying to move it upfield? And I don't think he got there. It's going to bring up fourth down and short. With five and a half minutes to play in the first half, West in blue just unable to move it. Well, it's tough when you got guys who are very athletic, a lot of volume on that defensive line to get off the ball like Rattlesnakes, Littleford, these guys, Hernandez. It's tough to establish something. When you're going up with so many guys who are just so talented, fast as well, great pursuit angles, can shed blocks and get into the backfield. They it's have rattlesnakes up. out here, by the way. We're in the desert, although it's too cold for the rattlers tonight. Rattlesnakes love to come out in the heat. Won't see them this evening. Shamblin again, and he's going to take off. And he's got a first down. He's into the secondary, and there he goes. Shamblin to the 35 to the 30, down to the 28-yard line. How good a runner is number two, Ty Shamblin of the North Oxnard Warriors? Well, before this series started, I said it was going to be up to Shamblin to get this offense going, and he's orchestrating, using his legs, and that play, he breaks out. Nice vision. You know a guy is very athletic and talented and can see the field. When he cuts back against the grain and makes a large, large gain like Shamblin did on that play. You can see why Ty is one of the captains. He's our true leader out there for the West. Senior All-Star game of the PYFL, the best of the best, big boy football. 
Late stages of the second quarter approaching four minutes before halftime. And Shamblin again. Only to the line of scrimmage. Ran into three of the red shirts. They slug him to the ground. Forrest Nowicki, one of the first guys here today. Forrest Nowicki just wants to play football. Again, he was the first guy at the stadium representing his team. Had his pads on and ready to go. Forrest Nowicki wants to just play football. Loves the game. Second down and about ten and a half. Shamblin looks up, and there's a sea of red around him. Well, if you tie, what are you going to do there? You have no chance. You know, you hear so often how coaches say, get rid of the football. There's no way you can get rid of that football. No, not in that play. And, and, and just before Shamblin just sets up, Creech closes that gap so quickly. He didn't make the tackle, but allowed the rest of his teammates to get in there in the backfield and take Shamblin down for the sack for a loss of 12 on the play. Timeout called on the field. That one really stings because the West desperately in need of a score with 3.11 to go before half, down by 26 here. Now they're way behind the chains. Spot the ball back at the 41-yard line. They have to get to the 19. That's the line to draw, so they need 22 yards. Well, Ralph, this has been fun all day long, and this game in particular, we are seeing some great individual efforts. Yeah, when you look at a lot of these athletes on the football field, they're all all-stars, but it's fun to see these guys shine in, in games where everyone else is at the level of talent that they are. These guys are just making plays and closing gaps and making one-handed catches out here on the football field. And it, it's exciting to see these guys. They're going to be off of high school next year and making some hay as well. How about that catch by Isaiah Creech? Now, he's called for that interference earlier, but that was the catch of the night. And now Creech out there playing defensive end. Again, these guys are all hungry to play. And again, we've talked about it in our earlier games, the versatility of all these players who play so many positions. And their value is just accentuated by their ability to play innumerable amount of spots on the football field. Gold Branson understands what Shamblin just went through. How good is that East defense getting to the quarterback? And again, it was Lilliford. So Littleford and these guys on, the, on this defensive line, as a quarterback, it's tough. As soon as you're getting ready to set up and look down the football field, these guys are closing in on you and the pocket's already collapsing. Like we spoke about earlier, these guys are like rattlesnakes on this football field, just closing with the speed that they have in our defensive line. I'm just astounded by the quickness of Littleford off the edge. Fourth down and 26 to go. And Gold Branson, there's that arm strength, and it's incomplete. And the ball's going to go over on downs. J.D. nearly had another interception, didn't he? J.D. Hernandez back in coverage. The first interception he had, he was in the box. and was playing like a linebacker rover position. That plays back on the back end, reads the eyes of Shamlin, and almost comes down with this ball. Just went up a little... Lightly with one hand. Think if he goes up with two, he probably gets that INT. I don't know if he's better on offense or defense. He's great on both. Well, the East takes over on downs, the 45-yard line. Well ahead here, in case you joined us late, 219 to play in the first half. And as you can see on the scoreboard here, it's 26 to nothing in favor of the Eastern Stars, who have been really splendid here. Fans who are here in the cold, very much into the action. And the East, the uh, second team quarterback, Nick Wyatt in there. Now again, being a second team quarterback here still means you're an all-star. We saw Wyatt's running skills earlier. 
picked up two on that carry. That takes us inside of two minutes to play in the opening half. This is terrific football played by the East. It's not that the West is not performing, because the East is so good. Wyatt again. Ball came out. Now it's blown dead. That ball came out. That ball came out before he hit the deck. I agree, Brandon Trotter was running down the other way. That should have been a touchdown. I agree, Brandon Trotter could have trotted in for a score. The sadly, they didn't know, the refs didn't see that, or the backside referee called that. Well, yeah. it's a recovery, but why couldn't he return it? They're going to give him the football. <laughs> so that's the good news for the Western Stars. We're in the high desert. Let's see if the West can go out in the first half on a high note. Yeah, I think they're correcting their mistake. I think they blew the whistle and realized that the ball actually did come out. That was a touchdown that just got taken away, but at least they get the football to try to get into the end zone. Squarely on the 50-yard line. So they need to matriculate 50 yards here. And the clock is running inside of a minute to play. Gold Branson on that slant pattern. Incomplete, and there's a flag out. Targeting Zach Rodriguez of the Packers. Looked to be an interference call. That's Cameron Stein. Is it offense Stein. or defense? That's the question. Well, Cameron Stein was in coverage. Tied on the hip. It's a defensive interference. It's 15 yards and a first down to the 35. Well, the West has a chance here with 49 seconds left. First half, down by 26. They want to make this a little more interesting for the second half, I'm sure. Cole Branson has three receivers to his left side. And he's going to look to that direction, but nobody's open. He's forced to run, gets a couple yards, but that's not what he wanted to do in that situation. Clock is running with 35 seconds left. They need to hustle, get back in that huddle and get going here, down to 25 seconds. Time, certainly an ally of the red team, the Eastern Stars on defense. Inside of 20 seconds left. Second down and seven. Cole Branson being chased again. He's in trouble, and down he goes. With 4.8 seconds left, the timeout is called. The defensive line in that rush is relentless by the Red All-Stars. Baptiste on the edge coming over, making a sack. Polanco back there as well, and they're doing a great job. It's, it's tough, and... Gil Branson is a great quarterback and make all the throws, but it's tough when you have those guys on the defensive line barreling down and cornerbacks and DBs matching up like glue on your wideouts on the outside. Going to be tough tonight, as we've seen so far in this first half, for Gil Branson to get anything, create any hay on the back end with his arm. Well, Ben Gil Branson of the Newberry Park Steelers is 5'9 and 150 pounds. He just looks bigger than that in the pads and all, and he's got that strong arm, but in his defense, the protection hasn't been there for him because the Eastern Stars are so good up front. That East defense, and we've documented it throughout this game, that they played so well, led by Tayden Littleford in the front four, put a lot of heat on him. Third down and 15. But there's only 4.8 seconds left in the half. And Gulp Branson to the near sideline has Shamblin, who's the quarterback playing wide receiver, and he's still going and finally is knocked down at the 34-yard line, and that's how the half ends on a tackle by Owen Hand. So after the first 24 minutes, your score is the Red Eastern Stars, 26, 
the Blue Western Stars nothing. We are at intermission. <laughs> 